Welcome to OptiFTTD's nanoparticle simulation video. In this video we calculate the transmission spectrum of a gold nanoparticle using the finite difference time domain method. The input field is a plane wave operating around 550 nanometers and is displayed on our layout with a red line. There are also two green lines which represent observation areas and one small green dot representing an observation point. We will start the simulation using our 64-bit calculation engine. During simulation in 64-bit mode the user only sees a progress bar. This allows us to cut down on CPU and memory overhead, which is critical for running larger designs. Let's now switch over to the 32-bit mode where we can observe real-time field data. There are a couple different options for viewing the real-time data. We can view the electric field in three dimensions or we can switch over to a two-dimensional topographic view. In this 2D view, we can see the field patterns that are generated by the interaction of the input plane wave and the nanoparticle. Intensity values can be referenced to the color palette on the right-hand side. If you look closely, you can also see that the field is significantly enhanced around the nanoparticle surface. The simulation continues like this until a steady state response can be extracted. We'll now go back over to the 64-bit simulation where our calculations are just finishing. Once they're complete, we can analyze them using the OptiFTTD analyzer. We'll start by opening up the observation area analysis and take a look at our observation point. In here, we can find our time domain and frequency domain responses. We also have the ability to calculate the transmission function. Jumping over a tab, we can look at the two observation areas. Observation areas allow us to compute power transmission ratios and normalize powers for each wavelength. We can also analyze each field component individually. And finally, we can calculate the power transmission spectrum for our nanoparticle. 